So, in this chapter, we will learn about action bar activity. So, the action bar is a way to provide uh, more action to the user uh, inside that are collapsed inside on a single bar. So, here we can see that the action bar will help to group a lot of action uh, for the user. So, what is an action bar? An action bar is composed of two things. The first one is a set of buttons that can be inserted inside of the action bar, as a black bar in the top of the application. And then we have an option menu that will group other actions. So first of all, we, we may want to suppose that all of our buttons are inside of the action bar visible directly uh, for the user. If we do that, we, 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 may, as we may have few space to display all the buttons. Okay? So it's not possible to display all the buttons. So we have to specify a policy, and this policy will describe which but buttons can be promoted to be inside of the action bar, and which buttons will be on the option menu uh, part, okay? So to do that, it's quite simple. It's a menu. We just have to specify an item, and the item will just specify order in category, and this will be used to compare to the other buttons and to detect whether this button has enough room to be displayed on the bar or not. If, the, if there is if there is uh, enough room, the button will be displayed, otherwise the button will be put inside of the option menu. And we can specify it by specifying shows as action if room. So if there is room, we can do that, otherwise we cannot. So you have to order button, and to do that you have to specify order in category, uh, which give a priority between the different elements and the uh, smallest white uh, will be low in the hierarchy and so they will, be not, they will not be displayed inside of the action bar. And you have also other possible action. The first one is to say, I want that my button will be always displayed in the action bar, never displayed or displayed if there is enough room. So the guideline of Android uh, suggests to not force a button to be in the uh, action bar. So the option menu uh, is built through an inflator, as usual. And when we have a clicks on item, we can just refine the on options item selected and check whether this button has been selected or not and perform some action. So now we may want to define more complex action bar buttons. For instance, this one. You have a button. When you click on this button, there is a field that appears in order to be filled and then trigger an action. So this kind of search view button can be launch using this small part of XML. So we can see that there is an item with some elements and then we can see that there is app action view class which is specified search view. So this will expand your view. So we have to note that when we expand the view, some button can now not be displayed. So this button are now in the option menu. Okay, so how we can manipulate this kind of view, which is called action view? We just, as usual, get the inflator, grab the view, and so on. And then we can refine the method on query text listener with a new uh, on query text listener interface implementation 
and we can do something when a text is submitted, when the text changes, and so on. Now we can build even more complex buttons, okay, uh, which are action provider. For instance, action provider helps you to share uh, a score or something like an image or whatever uh, to all social networks that are available on the phone. So how we can do that? We build a button and this button will trigger a shared action provider. This shared action provider will look in the system in order to detect what are the applications that, are, um, that can react to this kind of event and then it offers the possibilities to connect with Google Plus, handouts and so on. To do that, uh, we have to build an intent and so once more we can see that the way we communicate inside of Android is to have intention. I have the intention to uh, display or to share and so inside of this intent I put some extra information, the subject, the, some text and so on and then I can launch it from uh, the on create option menu uh, just by set share intent and call the super. So to sum up, uh, action bar activity helps to have a more um, elegant uh, GUI since all actions are grouped inside of a specific part of your screen and when you rotate your your, your device, the, some buttons appear, otherwise since there is no enough room they are inside of the option menu uh, part. Uh, the integration with Fragment is possible, it helps you to have a uh, better uh, user experience and you can use uh, Action Provider uh, in order to, to build even more complex uh, buttons.